gonna have a quick look at radar and AIS. So on our left hand screen here, you can see the ship in the middle. And we've got a contact, AIS contact just going off the screen. And we've got an AIS contact in. You can also see him being painted by the radar. On the right hand side, we've got exactly the same information. So there's our two things. Remember the ship's in the middle of the radar screen. Here's our coastline. And with the red around the chart, that's our active window, which means if we zoom in or out, that's the one that's going to change. So if I pop us on to chart display, what I can now do is take my cursor across to this chap here. You'll see I get some new details down the bottom now. I can add them to my buddy list. I can do view full AIS data. And now it tells me that this particular chap is the Welsh Piper. I get all of his position and heading information, his MMSI, call sign, and his IMO number, what size he is, what draft he has. But more importantly on this side, I get the closest point of approach and the time to closest point of approach. So this has worked out that he would, the closest point of approach if we both continue on the same course is going to be 0.25 of an nautical mile and that that will happen in 1 minute and 54 seconds. And if I pop us outside the window, you'll just see there is the Welsh Piper, okay? So I can also see where he's headed to because he has a Class A transponder on there, what his ETA is and what he's doing. So this chap is underway using engine, okay? If I want to go and have a look at this other target that we passed a little while ago, I can go and pop it on there, see if I can get to him. There we go. So I get some limited data and then view for the AS. Now this chap was a yacht he's not defined but he's a sailing yacht so he doesn't have the same sort of information because he's a class B but what he does still tell me oh we've missed him yeah let's go he's going to be hiding off down in that patch of waypoints